Hello and welcome to the show today. We've got a real good one for you. What we're going to do is something a little different. Uh, we're going to go in some cache lakes uh, back in the bush up in the Canadian wilderness. And the neat thing about uh, these particular lakes is that, uh, for example, the resort we're staying at, Lost Bay Resort, they have the rights to put a couple boats in different lakes. And uh, all you have to do is either drive or walk into them and you get just like uh, Flying Lake. Fishing is terrific. Okay, we had a lot of action, lots of fun. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Looking for a great affordable fishing vacation? Then contact Lost Bay Resort on beautiful secluded Cliff Lake. This drive to fishing destination is my favorite multi-species lake with terrific angling for musky trout, trophy walleye, northern and smallmouth bass. Fishing pressure is light and wind is no factor. Also check out Wild Eyes Outpost Camp for reduced group rates. Call toll free or go online CanadaHuntingFishing.com. My guest on today's show is Lance Hample, owner of Lost Bay Resort, and we're going to go on an adventure today. We're going to uh, go to one of his cache lakes, and what by that I mean it's one of them lakes back in the Canadian bush, and he's got the rights to put a boat on him for his resort. So uh, the people that come up to his resort can go back in the bush and fish some other lakes than just on the road. Well, Lance, this is pretty, uh, I'm looking forward to this today. This is going to be quite the trip. You know, we we have a number of different possibilities for going fishing. This mm -hmm. is one of them. This is a cache lake. What's interesting about this one is, like you said, we can keep boats on it, but we can also, if the water is right, we can land boats or launch boats right here. Sure. You can kind of see the click in the background. Right. Um, this lake that we're going to, I think it's going to have uh, walleyes and northerns and, and bass and wow. And uh, occasionally we'll get some some uh, perch. jumbo jumbo yeah, perch. Jumbo yeah. perch. Right, right. Right. Okay. Uh, how many lakes do you have? Uh, well, we have a we have a total of seven lakes that we can that we can cache boats on. That, that word cache is like a, a yeah. memory in a computer. <laughs> sure. You know? um, meaning we could store them there. But we also have, we could fish just about every lake in the, in probably a 50 mile area. Sure. Even, even some of the other lakes that have yeah. other resorts on. Right. Uh, we, we, we got these really nice boats and we've got a fleet of trailers. Um, we can either take you in like we're doing today. Right. Or uh, if you're a little bit familiar and you got the right equipment on your truck, we could just set you loose with the with the boat and the mm -hmm. motor and say away you go, or right. we'll give you a map or GPS coordinates and to where where the cash boat is. Yeah, and these lakes, I'll tell you, folks, are like flying lakes, and uh, the cost is nothing like fractional. the flying. Yeah, right. fractional. fractional. So right, some of some of the uh, lake, some of the cash situations are just part of our regular plan. Yeah. If if uh, if it's a long trip and we have to send out a guide or something like mm -hmm. that, of course there's, but there could be some extra incurred charges. But uh, right. But it's uh, it, it gives you the opportunity to basically fish mm -hmm. almost any type of Canadian experience you want. Right. Okay. Well, let's head her out. Okay. All right. Right by the landing. Yeah. There's the we landing just got over going. there. Yeah. Oh boy. You know, folks, this is uh, on th on today's show. What we're going to do is we're going to go to a cache lake, or what I what what that means is the resort, Lost Bay Resort, where we're staying. Uh, they've got a number of lakes they can leave boats on, and they're the only ones that can do it. Uh, other people uh, they have to go just daily, but they this way you know you can go into the wilderness. It's like flying lakes. Now, hey, nice walleye. Okay. First one. So, yeah. Oh, nice. nice. So, and well, here we are. We just started <laughs> fishing. This is uh, one of uh, Lance's lakes. Nice fish. I'll grab him yeah. by hand, I think. Brand new lake. It didn't take you long, Butch. You got a pretty no. decent walleye there. <laughs> That's right. Oh, nice. And he fought so good, too. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, nice a little fish. lighter color too than the. Uh, yeah, see the white you know, belly on uh, cliff. You know they were dark. Lake, sure, kind of a you know dark rock lake. This one is probably more sand. There's the sand beach right there. Oh, a real nice sand beach. Right. So. Okay, we're off to a good start. You bet.
Fish on. Another walleye, hopefully. Yeah, I think so. Well, I'll tell you what, Ooh. Lance has sure got some uh, great lakes to send the folks to, doesn't he, Butch? Well, that's the great thing about it. You got so walleye. Base camp, you got everything there, and then you come out here, you know, you don't see anybody, and you got the whole lake to yourself. Boy, uh, everybody'd be happy with a fish like this, huh? Yeah, nice. What do you think? Yeah, good deal. That bait fish spinner uh, did it for me again. Oh, yeah. Really? Wow. wow! Look at that perch. Nice. Really nice perch. <laughs> Those are nice perch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, walleye. Another Waldo. Boy, there's nice average size too. Oh yeah. Yeah, nice. Wow, what a lake, huh? Boy, yeah, say, which I was going to ask you, you know, uh, we've never been to this lake now. Uh, what would be some of the spots that a fellow should look for when you get on a new lake? Well, you know, a portable locator is important. That's a good question. Because when you come to a strange lake, you got, you know, even though there's a lot of fish in here, as you can tell, to find them is the key, you know. Uh, walleyes like this, uh, northern pike, bass, so uh, look look for like points and uh, humps that come up. Also, we're fishing a weed bed here. You can see the weeds there. And it drops in about uh, 10, 12 feet of water right off the edge of the weeds. And the fish are really, really thick in there. Way to go. Way to go, Math. Oh, there he is. Nice. Oh, nice. oh good fish. Well, you guys are, you're, yeah, that's the way to go. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Got another one biting here, Butch. Ooh. We got a good-sized minnow on, so you got to let him take it a little bit. But let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's staying down. The walleye, hopefully. Staying oh. down. Oh, nice fish. Oh, we're nice going to need the net on this one, I think. I think we're going to need the net. Boy, like you said in that uh, earlier, average size is real nice, isn't it? Oh boy, I'll tell you. That's probably about 19. A little bit too big to keep. We'll have to throw this one back, but boy, that, yeah. average size. Can't beat it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's not hooked too bad. We'll just release him. And... Right in the lip. That's nice, huh? Yeah. He's not hurt. Okay. Cool. Yeah, put him back. Another nice one. Cut shot, so just. Oh, that's good. That's real good. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, it's fish coming on. up. Fish on. It's coming up, huh? Yeah. Now, what do you think you got this time? Oh, I don't know, but he's a fighter. <laughs> he got some power. Boy, I don't think there's any bass in here. I, uh -huh. I thought he said there's just walleyes and northerns. But I don't know. Hey, sure, look at it. Sure Whoa. has some backbone on him. Whatever oh, it's it, a nice oh, smallmouth. Smally. Now that, look at that. Now what a bonanza this is. You got smallmouth oh. too. That's no small. No, smallmouth. Small mouth, big smallmouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yes. Nice, huh? Oh, wow, yes. Beautiful. Yeah. What else can you ask for? Oh, yeah, what else can you, you ask know, for? What else can you ask for? Wow. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely. Thank you.